Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another VR headset review. I've got the brand new VR headset that everyone's going crazy about. The uh, field of views isn't very good, and I think I may have a couple of dead pixels, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's uh, very immersive, um, although it's not really a VR headset, it's something else. <laughs> Fooled ya. <laughs> right, let's uh, check out what this is. What I actually have here is this. It's from Studio Form Creative VR. Uh, they got in touch with me after I think we had a little chat on Facebook or Reddit. Hmm, I'm not sure where it was. Uh, but I'll leave links to the groups and stuff that I'm in so you can have a little look if you want to kind of join them. Uh, so the, this guy, this company, they do VR straps for your headset. They kind of go over your headset. So if we scroll down here to the uh, Oculus Go version, there you can see that there it kind of goes in between sort of across your head in between is kind of give extra comfort and extra support so at the moment it's uh, $22 or $30, $30 when it's not on sale uh, they do headset straps for other ones so you've got the uh, Pimax Vive you've got the Rift Deluxe strap uh, and you've also got what's that Apache Das strap uh, and then also the Odyssey strap which they did send me the Odyssey strap as well because supposedly this works on sort of uh, Windows uh, um, mixed reality headsets. So they thought that maybe once I get my Quest, this will work quite well on that. So we'll have a look at that when the Quest comes out. So here's a close up of the strap. It's meant to kind of go over your head like that, around your straps and kind of hook up. So you've got a little bit of Velcro either side that's uh, kind of stuck on. So you do come, it does come with some spare Vel Velcro. So if you do kind of uh, lose it, it comes off or whatever, you've got, what's that, three extra bits there to kind of replace. Uh, which is nice and handy. Uh, you've got a bit of that either side. It's well stitched, it's well made. So if I kind of zoom in closer there, you can see the uh, company branding. Go on, go on, focus on it. There we go. That's the company branding. So Studio Form Creative VR, nice little tag on it. The stitching's quite nice. And it's made of this kind of like proper sort of felty, sort of usual material you get. It's not stretchy, there's no stretch to it. Uh, but it's got a little bit of padding to it. So it adds a little bit of sort of comfort to your headset. And as I say, it's meant to kind of go over the top of your head. So let's grab an Oculus Go. So here's the uh, default strap. So I've got the VR cover strap and the normal one. So this is the normal one that comes with your Oculus Go. What I would probably suggest is you just literally push it up inside the headset. So it rests against the top. And then on the outside, just fold those up either side uh, to go onto your headset. So this is just kind of setting up the first thing. So if, if your strap already fits and it fits well, then get that ready. Now this is clearly too tight for me, but what you can do is then untighten it once it's on your headset, and once it's on your head even, put your normal head strap into the right position, and then kind of just wiggle it in place until you kind of feel comfortable with it. So my headset usually sits about there. You can probably loosen this a little bit to kind of give yourself a bit more room if you want to, but the, the Oculus strap does have a nice little bit of sort of give to it, so it's not too bad. And then once you're kind of happy, just fold these bits up, uh, onto the top strap and there you go what I would do is make sure your, your ears aren't pinched and make sure it's not too close to the, uh, the sort of uh, strap holes here so as you know on the Oculus Go your audio comes in through the little holes on there so you don't want it pushing up against there but once it's on uh, it feels quite nice it's a, an interesting sen sensation having it across the top of your head so you can kind of fiddle with it a little bit get it nice and perfect and once it's kind of aligned there we go, feels okay, feels quite nice. I know it's kind of grabbing my ears a little bit there, but I think that's actually kind of comforting in a little bit. Uh, I like to have my head straps kind of up at a little bit of an angle, so I think that kind of helps as well. Uh, but quite nice, it's meant to kind of help with kind of positioning it on the top of your sort of nose better without sort of, you know, it drooping as easy and that sort of thing. So rather than just relying on sort of just this top strap, you've actually got sort of a side strap as well now. So. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely sort of comfortable. It's not sort of uh, putting any sort of undue pressure on my head or anything like that. It feels quite nice. What about the shake test? Oh, my head. Uh, yeah, it's still kind of in position. Uh, feels okay. So, yeah, I mean, seems okay. Let's try it with the uh, VR cover strap. So if you don't know, vrcover.com or go to vrcover.remarkers.com 
you can get a sort of a VR strap, which is a different headset strap, but I like this one because I can put it on one-handed without faffing around, whereas the Oculus Go one, you've got, it's obviously stretchy. This one's less stretchy. It's got a little bit of stretch, but a bit more sort of form-fitting. It goes onto your head. So once again, in there like that, and then just sort of fold up the sides, just roughly. It doesn't have to be kind of exact. Uh, same on the other side. There we go. Pop it on your head like you would normally, so then it's kind of works better almost with the VR cover strap because it's a bit more secure. Uh, get it in place so it feels kind of comfy. Right, put the headset on your face obviously properly. Uh, there we go, so down there a little bit. I like to have the kind of VR cover up on the back of my head a little bit more. Um, and then sort of uh, pull these up on the side. And yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, I'm not going to shake my head again too much because that's actually giving me a bit of a headache shaking my head so hard. <laughs> Getting too, whole, too old for uh, shaking my head too much, but there you go. Uh, feels okay. What's the uh, on-off test test like? So look, there you go. It looks more like a, a baseball cap or something now, doesn't it? It's definitely not sort of making it worse. As I say, it's making it more feel more like I've got a baseball cap on my head rather than uh, just a head strap. So maybe for sort of viewing, casual viewing, sort of resting. I guess saying that, actually, if you were resting and watching something on your side, you've actually got a nice little bit of pad in there to kind of put your head against rather than, say, anything else, you know, kind of rest against the... Uh, your head there's nothing wrong with it is it worth 30 30 dollars or 22 dollars as it's on offer i don't know you'll have to kind of uh, be the decider on that but it still fits when i just kind of pop it on my head like that it definitely kind of adds a, a little bit of comfort to it and uh, definitely kind of feels a bit more sort of premium at the headset it's definitely a lot warmer it's quite warm in my room at the moment um and that's definitely kind of adding a little bit of heat but it depends where you are maybe you want a little bit of extra heat saves you having some uh an extra hat on your head or something like that. So uh, yeah, no sort of uh, big complaints. It still fits on my head. I like to wear my headset like this. I think it kind of looks like I'm wearing one of those kind of uh, sort of deer stalker hats <laughs> with the, the side bits going up. But yeah, how's it going? So overall, not a bad accessory for the Oculus Go. I think it works quite well and does add a little bit of extra comfort and a little extra bit of sort of security to your headset. Uh, whether you can justify the price, it's up to you. Uh, for that sort of same price, you can get yourself two new straps, but I don't know. It is handmade, it is decent quality, there's nothing wrong with it. The stitching is quite nice, uh, it's very sort of uh, neatly made and that sort of thing. And as I say, I do have a uh, Samsung Odyssey version, which they've sent me as well. So once, as soon as I get the Oculus Quest, I'll stick this on it as well and give that a test. So make sure you subscribe to see that happen. But overall, this gets the uh, Remarkus thumbs up. So let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. I've also got a Discord at discord.remarcus.com where you can join me and have a little chat with me. I'm on Facebook, Twitter and all that sort of good stuff. But let me know, what do you think about this sort of thing? Is this sort of thing something you would buy and add to your VR headset? Do you think it would add some comfort? I think it does, but let me know what your thoughts are. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. That's fine, I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the Remarkables, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five. <laughs>